I'd like to uh, welcome everyone here to the July 11th regular meeting of the London Business Council. Um, with council's pleasure, I'd like to make one change to the agenda tonight. Um, I will be skipping the education, uh, if that's okay with everyone. Um, other than that, um, I'd like to call it to order, and we'll start with Pledge of Allegiance, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. President. I'd like to say he's excused. Uh, Trustee Kennedy. Here. Trustee Arendale. Here. Trustee Swack. Here. Trustee Hawkins. I did not hear the go. Okay. Yeah. I'd also like to note for the record that Clerk Worley and Treasurer Judy Birch are here as well. Like to has everyone take a look and review the minutes from the June thirteenth meeting. Be appreciated. motion that we approve the minutes from June 13th. I will second that. Thank you. Is that a, I don't know, just the uh, approval of the minutes that have a roll call? Oh, no, that? no roll calls. Um, I'm sorry, who was the first one? Uh, Arendelle and yeah. Swack. Thank you. Going on there. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion passes. Um, I'd like to approve, get a, hear a motion for the approval of the agenda. I will make a motion to approve the agenda. I'll um, second it as amended. Okay, in your packet, you should be able to find the treasurer's report for the month of June. Um, is there a motion to approve the treasurer's report? I'd like to motion that we approve the treasurer's report. Um, I'll second it. All right. Counts payable. We have to do a roll call. Oh, can we do a roll call for the penalty? Absolutely. Um, Swap? Yes. Arendelle? Yes. Kennedy? Yes. Also on your packet, we should find the accounts payable. Uh, this is supposed to be, this should be June, I believe, not April. Mm -hmm. Any questions? No, I'd like to motion that we pay the June 2022 for general for $13,651 dollars and 33 cents major 2541 and local 2901 dollars and 71 cents and the melon park for 260. second that do we get a roll call please kennedy yes swag yes here it yes this time i'd like to open up the meeting for public comment would anyone like to comment Okay. Hearing no call for public comment, I'd like to close public comment and move on to new business. Uh, I believe the first order of business is the village financial procedures. I believe from top of Mike, Jennifer, you had some questions or concerns? No, my, um, my thought is for us moving forward to keep us up with some of what the other cities are doing is for us to have a drop box outside and also maybe an idea if people are pulling um, permits that we can link our PayPal account online and they could actually submit their payment online. And it might just help with 
the mail and things like that for them to move forward. That way Judy can look at it and move and move ahead with whatever's needed with it. And the drop box wouldn't just be for permits, it would be for other things that we've asked um, like residents for or whatever, and you know residents have said, well I came up there and they didn't realize our hours. And I was just thinking it might just make it run a little bit smoother, just as an idea. I think that might be faster than waiting for checks too. Sure, I think that's something we can investigate. So, yeah, I'd like to investigate and putting the draft box outside and Sure. And then you would be the person for if we can we tag and somehow do a link in our permit section for I, forms online or something. I, so yeah. I'm not sure if anyone's seen the website has been redone by yes. the high school. Mm -hmm. um, Looks great. All those, yeah, I was gonna say all the, should have all the forms and permits up there already mm -hmm. under that section. But maybe we add one more section like, hey, you can you know pay for your permit here once you submit it in line. Like once it's submitted, they could send them to a link to pay for it. So that makes it. Kind of like how you're buying something, do you know what I mean? And you fill it all out. Yeah, I think that's potentially something we can investigate. Yeah. Um, Judy, would you have any comment or concern on that one? Tell me you're the one that handles well, that. Well, I'm, I'm always concerned about the charge on it. You know, we're trying to keep taxes down and everything. And the building permits can be quite expensive if there's a percent taken off of them. That's a... PayPal should be good as long as they send it the right way. Well, I wonder if we gave them like a 3% upcharge. Do you keep it? I don't know. Really, we have to... I don't know. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, mean, I think it's something we can look at. Yeah. But, I, I, yeah. but just, just thoughts of... Any way to make a permit easier to pay makes it more likely to pay. Yeah, the, the one thing also um, that I kind of thought about is if there's um, a way that we could do like a flow chart online, just yes. the staff flow chart that says, look, here this is what the procedure is for doing a, a permit, and then, you know, here are things that can interrupt a permit. So changing plans, scope of changes, right. stuff like that. So that way, anybody that's, that's working within a permit could see fairly easily what, what can happen or, or what the procedure is. Mm -hmm. so. Well, also, you have to understand when they pull Usually the mechanical, electrical, and plumbing permits, they're pretty self-explanatory. You can come up with an amount. If you pull a building permit, that amount will not come up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. 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 That would yeah. be a different one and probably the anomaly, but it's more for your easy ones, you know, something like that. Well, they always had the chance. I've never never said no when they called and asked about a permit. They fill them out online, mail them in. Yeah. And it's never been an issue. Yeah, it's just like I said, anytime I have to pull out permits. So yeah, if I can avoid one because somebody won't take a picture, or like it's difficult, I would absolutely avoid one. Um, so you know, anytime we can, and now sitting on the opposite side of the fence, <laughs> anytime I can get the money. So can make Is there a township or village that has one set up like that that we could look at and see what the positives and negatives pitfalls are? of our size that we deal with? Well, like, I, kind of what we're yeah. proposing, is there somebody, is there a township or municipality that has a setup like that where maybe, let's say you check a box, if you have a plumbing, and you're checking a box that you're gonna have something for the well, does it automatically populate a, uh, a number? So people right. know, because people can make a lot of mistakes, and that's the one thing just for filling in for Judy that I've noticed is that a lot of times, the first time somebody fills one out, they're rarely accurate or they're coming back a second time. And I don't know how that will work through PayPal if you'll have to reverse something or have an additional payment added in order to make the accounting right on that. Yeah. So that's my only thoughts on that. I have to look because I was, we're not homeowners, we're landlords. Mm -hmm. So we're looked at differently. Well, I can't pull for it myself. I have to have somebody else do it. So it's interesting. I'm look at that. Because I think Roseville is one of those that does everything online. Okay. Mm -hmm. Take it off. I'm gonna look at it. So, is, is there a motion on the floor? I'd like to motion that we look at obtaining a drop box for outside for at least going forward. Okay. And then, like I said, investigate the rest of it and see if there's a way to make it easy on everybody. Sure. Motion. I 
think I just added that? Yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> that is easy. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, the second order would be the Schlusler donation to the park. And I believe that would be this letter. I'm not sure if it's on. It's in the new addition to the package. Um, I can read it if everyone needs. Um, I believe the gist is that the Schlusslers would like to add additional tree for uh, Cindy Hoffman and another tree for their family, if everyone would read that correctly. Um, they said they are very much willing to cooperate and work with the, the master plan um, approved. We just have to work with them about what, what that would be. And so why not? That's, yeah, sure. I think it's a wonderful idea. Yeah. Sure. Sure. They've been informed of the timeline. Might be long hauling it right now just because of working with the row on the mm -hmm. oh. on the plans right now that it's kind of a dragged out process. So do you want a motion from this? I think we should. Uh, I think we should have a motion on that okay. just out of their record. I'd like to motion that we take into account the shoes first, wanting to add trees to the nature park here in the village of Leonard. However, let's at least let them know the time frame going forward. All in favor? Aye. Okay. All right. All right. We want to pull it out. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Um, I believe that concludes new business, uh, old business. Uh, I did not get an update on the sewer project. Jennifer, do you have anything from talking with Mike? No, I, mean, I know that he's working on it. He's working on a few things, but that's, I don't have anything concrete. Okay. Um, I'll be honest, I could have missed it in an email. Yeah, I'm sure we can see that. Uh, the park project, I believe, also as part of the packet we received from row. Um, they've taken into account uh, that we've gone up, received additional, solicited additional bids. Um, I believe they've come back and changed the compensations. And they have kind of, I believe, given a better scope of work for what services they will be providing. In my opinion, I'd like to wait for Mike to come back on that, but um, we can take a look at what the budget council is. Because I don't believe that there's anything time critical on this. I know he's I'd, like, I'd like to move that we table this for the meeting in August for a decision. And I said that. Uh, on to the DPW update, um, I don't have any, I will be, uh, with council's pleasure, I'd like to reach out to Donnie and ask him if he would be available to mow the lawn over at 4285 prior to um, Strawberry Festival. Um, from talking with Mike, we're still going through all the process and submitting means onto that house. <coughs> But I think with Strawberry Festival coming up, I think it would be appreciated amongst the village if you could at least get that lawn taken care of once. So if Don's not available, I'll work, um, I'll see if I can work out another solution to get that lawn mowed. Um, and I hate to bring this up, but uh, the village portion of the property that Redford owns has not been mowed either. You know, in the right of way. Yes. He's mowed his property, but he doesn't mow the village right away portion. So if he's done, he's out there doing that, he may as well oh, 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 oh. knock that down because I don't think it's going to happen if he doesn't do it. Yeah, we were talking about that earlier, too. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'll talk with Donnie about that as well. Okay. If he can't make up work day, I guess we'll find a way. I believe that is everything that we have for the DPW update. Um, Mike did not mention any FOIA requests. There weren't any. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm ready to mention them. 
Are you getting the CTG report in there? I am getting it in my email. Yeah, I got the new breakdown. Okay. Um, can yeah. you forward those to me so that I can put them in the back? Oh, absolutely. Because he used to send it to the village and now it's... Oh, so okay. My bad. I didn't realize that I was only getting it. So I will definitely make sure you get those. Please, thanks. Then, just kind of touch briefly on the community development block grant asked for that. Um, present, or ordinance enforcement. I'm not aware of any other ordinance enforcement actions other than I'll be asking Downing Mall 4285. Um, we'll be taking that as well. At, um, um, I did not aware of any other ordinance enforcement at this time. Um, and we move on to trustee committee reports. Uh, Summer Festival Committee. I, to Friday. I, yeah. Um, it's going great. It's going to be a fabulous festival. Um, we've got probably uh, about 15 uh, classic cars for the for the festival. Some some new stuff. Lots of tents. Uh, spots are filling up for the cornhole tournament. I'm um, going to have a euchre tournament in here, and um, that looks like that's going to go over really well too. So, um, yeah. Just uh, hope everybody comes out. It's going to be a really good one. Uh, cable Commission, and the gentleman is yeah. not here. Um, I'll have to see if the report comes back next week or next meeting. Decorating Committee? Uh, yes, hopefully everyone has seen that we were able to get the polls in question painted. I'd like to thank um, Chris um, McTaggart, who um, sent his crews and himself, came out and donated their time uh, to us. So I'll get you, Judy, over their address and stuff so we can send them a thank you uh, for their time. Uh, he, I did mention that one of the poles, it looks like it's riding pretty bad at the bottom, and we should probably look at taking that down by next year. So that's something that should probably be taken care of. Okay. We don't uh, use those poles for anything, right? They just hold our banners right now. They're all disconnected old electrical lights yeah. right now. Um, so would we have a different spot for the band in the floor? I don't know, I'll have to look. Well, I mean, the, the, technically, I guess the pole could be sweeped or something like that if we wanted to maintain that pole. You know, yeah, so you get down. I mean, something could probably be yeah. done with it. So right. it but, but hopefully everyone's looked at those and noticed that that's done. Oh, uh, it looks like we do have some plants that need to be redone in the planters um, because they dried up. Um, so what I'd like to do is go out and make sure we've got some new plants for the strawberry fest. I'd also like to make sure that um, putting out some of the garbage cans that we have because people are using them as um, waste containers. So I thought maybe if we had a couple of waste containers permanently outside. And we have them in the garage that we just set them out. So I'd like a motion to always move forward with that. Do you have a place where you want to put the trash containers? Is there a thought on a location? Probably one here by Bowling Hall. Um, so we have one on this side of the street, and then we have one over at uh, the corner store and then I was hoping because the um, somewhere between maybe Dawn, the county and um, the post office but I'm not sure where since we're limited at space. When you said over at the corner store on our side like by the barber shop or on? No there's the already one there at Leonard's. Is there? But um, there's one there for them at the corner okay. that we put um, but we were donated to other ones, so that's where I'm looking at. Okay, got it. If you guys are willing to do any of spray painted or anything? I thought they looked pretty good. I was, they look okay. I was in the yes, they should, should be, but I mean, for, for timing, right? Yeah. Wise right now, I think we need to just move forward with what we have. Yeah. I second that. We did. I wasn't sure where it was. <laughs> okay. Is that a motion? It's motion. It's a motion. It's a second. Okay. 
I wasn't sure if that was a system, so motion everything at once or not. Yes, motion. Okay. Uh, NOLA, I haven't heard any additional information from NOLA. Um, there'll probably be a meeting coming up here. Uh, Planning Commission. Meeting scheduled for Thursday. I don't know, are we having it? Or is it being canceled? I don't know that there's a meeting for it. Must be meeting for There isn't anything upstairs, so. So if there isn't, then I would I'll suggest we need to cancel it. A cancel, and I'll check with Leslie in the morning. All right, like I said, as long as there's nothing that is on the schedule, and there's nothing upstairs to handle, and there's nothing. I, the last time we talked, it was about cleaning up for strawberry festivals. So mm -hmm. I tried with a postcard, if you got <laughs> it probably has to be canceled. I don't think we're going to quorum. Oh. So I think gotcha. two of our members are in town. So okay. if somebody wants to. All right. So I make a motion to cancel the uh, July planning issue. I second. I don't believe there's any update for the Pauline and Trail Management Council. Uh, Village Park, we've discussed the uh, request from the Schuessler family and the bid packet that came back again from Row Engineering. We'll discuss more of that in the next meeting. Uh, community Development Block Grant. I don't believe there's any updates there as well. Uh, no correspondence at this time either. So I would like to motion, if we have nothing else, that we adjourn at 7.22. I will second. Excellent.